All right, I want to see if I can make a quick video. Um, maybe save you guys, uh, save you guys some money if you're into this. Um, for varying reasons, I'm not a big fan of um, down sleeping bags. Uh, I don't like having to use a liner. I don't like the way the liner wraps around and gets all tangled. Um, in the whole, uh, worried about getting the down bag wet and all that. And uh, a sleeping bag to me is a when you're out in 20 degree weather and snow on the ground or colder, 15, 12. Your sleeping bag is absolutely vital, and it has to be very reliable because um, your life could depend on that sleeping bag. So for those reasons, I'm not a big fan of down, even though it has the highest warmth to weight ratio. So for me, the trick was finding a synthetic bag that will still keep you warm if it gets wet for whatever reason, but also have a good warmth to weight ratio. And these bags here are the best that I've been able to find uh, in my own research. Um, the title of this video is Airbrilly Stock Revelry Revelry? I can never pronounce it correctly. I have become a big fan of Eberly Stock gear. It's become all I use now. Um, I guess maybe I fall on the somewhere in the hunting slash ta tactical <laughs> audience. I don't know. Um, but I'm also not a big fan of paying twice for something. Paying paying for something almost twice as much for it. So, Eberly Stock's not gonna like this video. <laughs> They're not gonna like me. Um, I hope they don't hate me too much. I mean, I like their gear. I just don't like paying twice as much for it. Daughter. Um, so, this down here is the Revelry sleeping bag. Um, this right here is what they call their ultralight sleeping bag. And this right here is a liner that fits in both. Now, I'll show you a close-up of each one. I know it's hard to see because it's all OD green right now. Um, this is also a Corinthia Defense 4, rebranded. And this literally is the Corin uh, Corinthian Tropen. Uh, I think it's German for tropics. Uh, these bags are... Corinthia is a brand uh, made in Austria. And uh, the vendor that I bought these from are in Finland, okay? I don't normally buy stuff from Europe except for maybe DD Hammocks, but... Um, I would prefer to buy a U.S. bag, but in all the U.S. companies, I haven't found anything quite like these. They're, the warmth-to-weight ratio is actually, I think, really good for synthetic bags. Um... I'll post all these stats at the end of this video. Um, the liner, I'll show you a close-up of this later. Um, um, I, from what I've read, it'll add about five degrees to your to your sleep system. It's a, it's a poly cotton. Um, you buy it overseas from the vendor. I'm, hopefully, Amazon will let me link to below. It cost me forty three dollars. If you try, you cannot buy, and none of this stuff you can buy on um, Amazon. Uh, you're going to have a hard time finding it on eBay for a reasonable price. Um, the only vendor that sells either of these ba bags under a rebranded name is Eberly Stock. They do not sell the liner. You have to buy this overseas. So I, I spent $43 on this plus like $11 in shipping. They ship This vendor, particular vendor ships DHL. It takes about four or five days to get here. Not bad. It's worth the wait. It, it takes it's, it's a lot faster than I thought. <clears throat> but forty-three dollars. This liner by itself weighs one point one pounds. Um, it's got a center zip. This will this will make more sense later. And it also has tie-ins. And it, you can literally tie this thing into these bags, so it can't roll around on you. Um, 
the Tropen. It's kind of cool. Um, now the thing with all these bags is that they're actually tested to a, 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 a European standard where a lot of US bags are not really tested. Um, you can buy stuff from Alps, Slumberjack, um, <clears throat> or other rebranded things like King's Camel. I have a King's Camel bag. But none of them are actually tested to some type of standard uh, across the board. These are. Um, so the Tropen, the way the Europeans test it, is a comfort rating for female is 48 degrees. Uh, extreme, a comfort rating for male is 41 degrees. Extreme uh, stop the dying cold is 17 degrees. The Corinthian Defense 4, or the Revelry sleeping bag, um, this thing is rated at a comfort rating of 16 degrees for female, 5 degrees for male, and extreme degrees, you're not going to die, at a negative 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the Tropen is 2.4 pounds on my scale, and what is essentially a 5 degree synthetic sleeping bag weighs, what was it, 4.1 on my scale. This bag, if you buy it from the vendor overseas, uh, I can't pronounce your name, $134 for the Tropic. If you buy it from Everly Stock, it's going to cost you $269. The Defense 4, if you buy it from this uh, Finland vendor and have it shipped in through DHL, it's going to cost you $190. If you buy it from uh, Everly Stock, it's going to cost you $329 for the same bag. Um, after a 10% veterans discount, I paid $296. I'm not as butthurt about this as I should be because I was unable to find this bag anywhere else in this size. It's, this is a regular. Um, this Finnish vendor, they just got it and got some of the long, larger versions in stock. I think they have like 18 left or something like that as of the making of this video. Um, and they're about $190. Um, so I'm not too put off because at the time, there was no other version of this bag anywhere to buy. So, learn from my mistakes on this one. Alright, I'll give you a, a close-up version or a close-up view of these bags. Alright, we'll start with the liner first. They have um, six tie-in points with six corresponding tie-in points in each of these bags. Now, it's the center zip design. Here's the label. And the cool thing about these, all their stuff, is that um, all their zippers are pull open like that. I hate fighting a zipper. Only military bags seem to have a zipper that you can just pull over. Civilian ones, they just don't have that. Okay, so here's the stuff sacks. This is for the Tropen. And this is obviously for the Revelry 4. They say it, they're made by Corinthia. They, it's a re, the rebranded Corinthian bags. The design on these things are, are identical. The only difference between, is, between these bags is the label and the size. Both of the interior of the bags, they seem, they have this, I've never seen a pull cord like this. You squeeze it like that. And they seem to be water resistant interior on both. This bag from Everly Stock, same thing. Same material that the bag's made out of. Okay, so here's the Tropen. Um, it's a side zip. <clears throat> uh, now the cool thing about this is it actually has mosquito netting. I haven't tried it out yet. I literally just got this bag not even an hour ago. But it has a Mosquito net that snaps in right there and zips up around the hood. So, true to its name, if you're in a tropical environment, you got lots of skeeters um, or the mountains in the summertime. 
uh, that might be the way to go. I love a pull-free zipper. I hate fighting zippers. Now, an in interior of this bag, there's a loop right there to, to tie in the liner. And there should be a corresponding loop right here. One in the middle. Find it right there. It'll be another another sit down there in the foot box. Okay, now here's the, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to call this, red herring? I don't know. So this is a rebranded Corinthian Defense 4, is what this really is. I'm not going to review these at this time. I might do my own review later. After this winter's hunts, late fall, early winter, I'll be out in November, December, January. Hopefully not that long. Which is the whole reason why I got this. Um, there's plenty of... You'll find a lot of videos overseas on these. Very few people in, in the States have actually done anything with this bag, I think. So here's the label on the inside. They took out the Corinthian label and put it in their own. And like the Tropin, it has tie-in points for the liner. It would be nice if Everly Stock offered the liner, but they don't. Now the reason why the liner is a center zip is because it's meant to go with the Defense Series of sleeping bags, and all the Defense Series sleeping bags are a center zip, which I like, actually. Now the way these bags are, it's actually a modular sleep system, very much like the USGI modular sleep system, of which I have two pairs. Um, what I like about this is that the, what would be the patrol bag, or in this case the tropin, this, the zip is a center zip, or a side zip, I'm sorry, which offsets the center zip, so you don't have two zippers lining up each other, so that makes one heck of a draft collar. You have this over draft collar right here, plus this overlap right there. So the general idea is you use this bag in summer, this bag in early spring, uh, summer, early fall, early spring, late fall, early winter. And over winter, if you're really out there and you're hardcore, like I will be on rare, very rare occasion. It got cold last night. Real cold. Um, you can run both. There is, there is a combined rating. I don't remember what it is offhand. By way of comparison to the American USGI sleep system, I've had, I have two pairs of these. Uh, I've used them for several years. I've never done a review on it. I didn't really see the need to. Um, and there is a Gore-Tex bivy for this as well, uh, but it's like $300 even if you buy it from that Finland vendor, which I'll, that hopefully um, YouTube will let me link to. Um, I don't need, This is fairly water repellent from everything I've heard, but uh, as far as the USGI sleep system, they the ratings on this... Um, Realistically, real world experience, this black bag, I want to say this is about a 35 degree bag. 30, 35 degree by itself. If you combine it with the Gore-Tex BV, that's probably like a 30 degree bag. Comfort white, comfort rating, comfort. Because I'm, I'm in my upper four is sliding into 50 and I care more about comfort and weight these days. Okay. The patrol bivy or the patrol bag by itself, in my opinion, this is about a 50 degree bag. Um, at least in my area. 
I typically camp in uh, like archery season, I'll be about 8,000 feet elevation. So the overnight temperatures can drop a little bit. Comfort rating, I would say this is a 50 degree, degree bag by itself. You add the baby to either one. Um, I don't know. You, this one might be a 45 degree bag. 40, 45. You add the bivy to this, you're looking at a 30 or 35 degree bag somewhere in there. The bivy adds a little bit. <clears throat> However, the insulation on this, um, you know, these bags are made in the early 2000s. Uh, I think uh, synthetic insulation has come a long way. Now, all the insulation in these bags, is, uh, they call it G-LOF, my understanding after reading into it, they're all like... Um, hollow fibers almost i read somewhere that the insulation that is is designed to imitate that of a polar bear sounds cool right where it's more like long hair more like fibrous hairs that are hollow whereas this these are just bats of some type of just synthetic insulation whatever was decent back in the 2003 or 2004 when these were made so, I'll repost the, the stats at the end of this video, and I'll, I'll link to some videos that, that describe these bags better. And um, I'll include a link to the best review I can find on these on this sleep system right here. Seems to be a real world um, experience with that bag. All right, Everly's, Everly's talk's gonna hate me, but you have a good one.